Our season always kicks off with this particular trip, which we call our all staff training trip. We've had the opportunity to come out here on the Salmon River Canyons at a pretty good medium high water level. You see all the side creeks pumping into the river. You know, as spring in Idaho, we have every kind of weather. We're getting beautiful sunshine, clouds, plenty of rain, and you know, the show must go on. It's a great opportunity to get all the new to row guides and all the veteran guides in one place. And we not only get to go rafting, but we also get to introduce a little bit of row's culture and their mission and their values. Company philosophy and risk management and what we want to be for the summer. It's so cool to see everybody sharing their knowledge. Everybody has something to teach everybody else. We share the wisdom we've learned. We share tips and tricks of how to take care of ourselves and how to take care of each other. It's just a very collaborative learning environment. Patch the boat with this. What do you guys think? Well, yeah, that's a great point. We'll make a note of that. We talk about ourselves as a family, and it really does become home for people. And I think that's probably the biggest reason people come back. I came back to Roe specifically because I knew how dedicated this operation was to diversifying and being more inclusive in terms of the entire industry. I'm wrecked for any other work. <laughs> I, I couldn't do anything else, I don't think. Working with people and showing them once in a lifetime experiences is really amazing. That's what I love, those life stories, the sharing of community out here. I love being intimately familiar with a wild place and then the white water is also just an added bonus. You know, guides who stick around at Row for multiple seasons get to see some of the most beautiful places in the Northwest. This is my second season at Row, and the reason that I returned is really because in my 13 years of guiding, I had never found a rafting company that it felt so rewarding to work for. And the reason is that we do so much more than just taking people down the river. We really try to connect them to the place that we're in through meaningful interpretation and really getting to spend quality time and getting to know our guests. But we do want that sort of seamless experience that shows that we've got our act together. It doesn't happen by accident. It happens because we put a lot of love and blood, sweat, and tears into the process before the first trip ever happens. For me, it was a level of reward that I hadn't really ever experienced before, and I wanted to return because guiding is fun again. A bunch of companies in the outdoor industry don't really strive to have that professional and guest-focused way of working. It was really a breath of fresh air. As a company in our fourth decade, one of the coolest things about our culture is that it's really become this amalgamation of all these great ideas of different guides and different staff members over the years. While there is a lot of mentoring that happens, we also have a lot of conversations about why we do things the way we do and how we can do them better. We want to continue to push people and, and have them keep growing and learning. We provide these incredible experiences for our guests, but I realize now that over the 40 plus years we've been in business, we've also had this amazing impact on hundreds of lives of our guides. I don't know what kind of butter this is, but it's gonna honey be That's butter. honey butter, baby. Honey That's butter. Sweeter, sweeter than sugar, I tell oh. you. A goal at Roe that we talk about is setting the high water mark. And we mean that in the sense of setting the high water mark in how we operate our trips, and also in terms of who we hire. We're looking for people that are self-motivated. We're looking for people that are seeking the high water mark in their own life. I'm looking for somebody that shows emotional intelligence, somebody that understands the boating aspect of things. Road Ventures guides are extremely professional. They have a lot of expertise that they bring in when they start working for our company. Things like swift water rescue training, wilderness first responder, and then we do a huge amount of training in-house as well. Safety is key out here. Um, rivers are inherently dangerous and we like to mitigate as much risk as we can. We do a lot of risk management out here. There's lots of things that I think a lot of our guests overlook because we manage it so well. I'm practicing administering epinephrine. To an orange? To an orange. <laughs> I think our guides seek knowledge, they seek to share laughter, 
they care deeply about each other and they care deeply about these places. They walk this beautiful line of being professional and fun loving. Ro is training us to be personable people and be really good with guests and also be really good on the river. Peter and Jonah are running pretty much all of our operations and it's really, really awesome to come out here and see them out here setting the example in the kitchen with us, talking with us, communicating with us about these difficult discussions that we're having. I think it really sets the tone um, for the rest of the season that there's support at this company that comes from the top down. I would say for myself, having now been a guide for 45 years, introducing new young people into this world of guiding and all the joy that it's brought me in my life is really fulfilling. I'm always learning from our younger guides. I feel like I'm a much better person because of them. The time I get to spend mentoring, learning from, and being inspired by our guides is what keeps me coming back and, and re-inspires me every year that my work is so important so that I can support our guides in growing and learning and then creating transformative experiences for our guests.